What comes to mind when you think of Singapore? Well, shiny skyscrapers and maybe the hit film Crazy Rich Asians. Well, wealth, specifically income inequality, is certainly in the spotlight in the Southeast Asian nation after a 17-year-old girl put up this TikTok recently about her first ever luxury bag. We were supposed to be just friends. You don't live in the part of town, but maybe I'll see you out some weekend. Zoe Gabriel's dad had bought her the bag for $80, but her delight over the purchase didn't last long. The Philippine-born teen was quickly subjected to harsh trolling by Singaporeans for calling the item luxury. Charles & Keith is a mid-range brand from Singapore that's popular worldwide. In some parts of Asia, like China and Taiwan, its affordability has led to the nickname Little CK, which stands for Little Calvin Klein. Zoe's TikTok has since been viewed almost 7 million times and snowballed into a wider debate about class and social inequality in wealthy Singapore. Zoe posted up this TikTok after all the backlash. Growing up, I did not have a lot. My family didn't have a lot. Every time we passed by a store, my parents would just say next time, but next time would never come. To you, an $80 bag may not be a luxury for me and my family it is a lot and i am so grateful that my dad was able to get me one she worked so hard for that money i can't believe i got hate over a bag that i was so excited to have Well, Zoe Gabriel's heartbreaking clapback was met with compassion online. Her experience resonated with many and even caught the eye of Charles and Keith, whose founders met her and her father and gave them gifts, as you can see from this TikTok Zoe uploaded. There was an outpouring of support online with netizens writing positive comments on her videos, including on her original post. Her TikTok following has since jumped to more than 230,000 and her posts center on positivity, her Filipino heritage, and her family. But while Zoe's come out of the ordeal relatively unscathed and seemingly stronger, Singapore's class divide remains in the spotlight. In a country as technologically advanced as Singapore, where many people are plugged into social media on an almost permanent basis, it's no surprise that this story has captured the attention here. Reaction to this TikTok video has shown what many people are calling a class divide as the gap between rich and poor grows wider. This is an observation from one Twitter user called Alan. He says Singapore has a massive classism and nationalism problem under the surface that it needs to deal with. It's getting out of hand and ugly. Now, there's no shortage of wealth here in Singapore, and for the many rich people, there's plenty of opportunities to splash the cash. But for people at the other end of the scale, things are getting more difficult. Growing inflation and soaring property prices are adding to the inequality. Here's another observation from Twitter user Joe Million. He says rich and privileged people in Singapore will never understand how the middle to lower income families live. You don't see homeless people. That doesn't mean there are people struggling to pay rent. I think it's been a glitch. Now, this video and reaction to it has shone a light on this issue, but it was something that the Singaporean government were already well aware of. The country's finance minister and likely future prime minister, Lawrence Wong, he even referenced the backlash to this video in a speech. And the country's health minister described social inequality and ageing as the two big challenges facing the current generation of Singaporeans. Now, the government here have worked hard to ensure racial harmony in society. And judging by the initial backlash to this video, they've got their work cut out to try and ensure that the negative effects of social inequality don't seep out into society.